Hey guys, so I was trying to shoot this video outside because I thought it would be nice and sunny but guess what, it's so windy here in Canada that everything just flew away including the stress. So I was like, you know what, forget outside today. So welcome back again guys. Today I'm here to shoot another video on my teller experience. Now if you're wondering what are the questions and answers to the interview questions for a bank teller then you might want to check out my other video in which I explain briefly how to prepare for an interview. I'll be posting it down below so you can take a look at that video. So without further ado, let's talk about my experience as a bank teller for the past three years working at a large bank. So there's some pros and cons I want to talk about but I think for me personally there was more cons which is why I had to leave the job. So let's begin by me listing some of the cons of working at a bank as a bank teller. So if you don't already know, bank teller, customer service representative, client advisor, whatever the title may be at the certain bank that you're trying to apply for is basically the front line. So you're the person who's, who takes transactions, who deposits cash, who writes bank drafts, wire transfers, a whole lot of transactions. So one of the first things I noticed as a teller was that working as a teller, you're not respected as much as you think you would. Like if you work at McDonald's and the customers are yelling at you, swearing at you, or you're just getting insulted every day, then it makes sense because it's a fast food restaurant and you're getting minimum wage. So I guess people don't take you seriously and they just want to, you know, be rude to you and say whatever to you if you get their order wrong. But trust me guys, as a bank teller, you're basically treated the same way, no different than McDonald's. And this might sound weird because you're thinking it's a professional place, so why would anyone treat you bad? They probably respect you more and the clients or customers won't yell at you or get angry at you or insult you. But trust me, they do guys. Being a teller for the past three years, I've had clients literally screaming their lungs out. I've had uh, my manager even so close to calling the cops one day because that that client was being very rude they were starting to become aggressive so we were all like we need to get the cops involved which is weird because at a bank you might think it's, it might not be like that so that's one of the things that i didn't like working there was the way i was treated another thing is that if you're scared of risk this job is not for you because let me tell you guys a teller is the most stressful job and the most riskiest job you can ever have and let me tell you why. Every day as a bank teller, I had a fear and my fear was that I could be losing $2 million, $5,000, $10,000 just like that and get fired. And by this I mean that as a teller, you get over 400 clients every day who at least like one of the clients will try to scam you so what i mean by that is you can get a check you can get a customer bring a check that's five hundred thousand dollars ask you to deposit it and say that they are the person they say they are but they're actually not so i had a coworker. there was a client who came and tried to deposit a large check um, the teller did not really notice that the check didn't look real even though it looks very similar to a real one but still um, I guess you have to be very careful you have to make sure the date the font the way the check looks is legit so the teller didn't do a very good job at looking for those signs and they ended up losing the bank that whole amount of the check because that person was not real and so now basically the bank has a loss because they can't get a hold of that person and now it's it's considered a fraud and i've heard many stories in which a person is fired or a person is no longer um, at the same position because they had a fraud and there was they've had a loss to the bank so guys being a teller you have to be so so careful and a lot of people will go through a fraud and it's a normal everyday thing in which you see one of your coworkers get called into the office because they've just accepted a deposit or try to give something to a client who wasn't the client they said they were. So this isn't even something rare. This happens a lot, especially if you're new. When you're new, the customers know that you're new. They see that there's a new face, so they most likely want to be served by you. And bam, just like that, you've just deposited a fake check. 
there are a lot of people who are working there for 30 years, 20 years. They have, a, they obviously have a lot more experience with catching those kind of things. And they know that um, this person might be a fraud and they're better at that. They've been through the experience. So those people are more safer. But if you're new, you don't really, you can't really identify between fake and real, then you can get in trouble. So number three for the cons on my list would be working under pressure. You might think working at a bank teller, you're not gonna have to work under pressure. It won't be like McDonald's or Tim Hortons where you have to run and take orders and see big lineups and all that, but you're wrong because a teller is exactly like that. As a bank teller, you will ex you have to expect to see a lot of people every day, long lineups, you have to work fast, you can't be slow, you have to multitask, you have to do transactions. You Sometimes at the same time, you have to try to find opportunities make sales, everything at the same time. And you really have to be good at working under pressure because as a teller, you're not gonna just sit there and not do anything. Another thing I wanna point out is that a lot of people think that bank tellers don't, bank teller isn't really a sales job, but trust me guys, even a bank teller, you do have to make some sales, even though it might not be in the job, job description, but your manager will expect to see some numbers from you they will expect you to have sold a credit card or a identified some sort of opportunity. So let's talk about some of the pros. The pros of being a bank teller could be the benefits. They have really good benefits at a bank. You'll get covered for medical expenses, personal expenses, like personal, um, there's something called personal wellness account in which you get credits, which you can use towards buying running shoes or stuff like that. So you get a lot of good benefits. Um, I even got braces which costs around $6,000 here in Canada, but I, I only had to pay 3,000 because my work covered 50% of it. So that was pretty cool. Their benefits are amazing. Um, you get paid sick days off, you get um, three weeks vacation, you get a lot of those things. Another um, pro that I would say is that depending on where you get placed, I mean, which depending on which branch you're at, Teller can sometimes be quiet like obviously you have to work under pressure majority of the days however sometimes if you if there's no clients and you there's no one in line then you can just chill and go on the computer and do whatever you want so and they don't really care about that whereas like in another job they might ask you to do something and why are you just standing there doing nothing but as a teller i noticed a lot of people would just do whatever when it wasn't so busy for me personally i would complete my assignments and homework but again, it depends which branch you're at because a lot of branches in the main city areas is very, very busy. So you have to always be on your toes. You have to always serve clients. There's always big lineups. So if you're in luck and you get placed in a good and quiet area, then it might not be that bad after all. So that's it for this video, guys. Overall, my experience as a teller was not so good. I personally hate doing a job which is stressful, which requires working under pressure, which is why I had to leave the teller position. Um, I just couldn't deal with all the risk and stress and all of those things. If you guys want more videos about the teller position and maybe I can talk more about what I mean by sales as a teller, then please comment down below or anything in general you guys want me to tell you guys. You can comment down below and I'll either respond to you guys there or I can make another video like this one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to let YouTube know that this content helped you.